citizens have the right to vote. Your vote is your voice. Your vote elects the politicians who decide how your tax money will be spent, from fixing roads and bridges, building schools, to supporting the NASA space program and helping other countries in need. Your vote can decide the local school board and the president of the United States. All American citizens, whether naturalized or natural born, can vote. But who decides how we vote? Well, under the U.S. Constitution, each state can decide their voting laws. For example, Indiana and Texas require a photo ID to vote, and they can decide what kind of photo ID is acceptable, like gun permit, driver's license, college or military ID. States also choose where the voting booths are located and how many of them will be provided. State governments can pass these voting laws as long as they don't discriminate. Yeah, right. We'll get to that part a little later. The legal voting age in the United States is 18. It used to be 21. But young people protested, saying if they can be drafted into war at 18, then they should be able to vote at 18. So the 26th Amendment lowered the voting age. For most of this nation's history, women did not have the right to vote. Suffragettes, suffrage is an old-fashioned word for the right to vote. Suffragettes started protesting for equal rights back in 1848. That's the year women and men met in Seneca Falls, New York, at what we now call the first Women's Rights Convention. Women wanted the right to vote. Unfortunately, the white women decided to discriminate against the black women, who also wanted the right to vote. So black suffragettes started their own organizations. You see, black women needed the right to vote twice as bad because they faced discrimination based on race and on gender. Those were awful times for people of color in America. This country enslaved people, took away their rights, and made them work for free until a civil war. If it hadn't been for black soldiers, the North would have lost the Civil War. After years of oppression, black people finally had their rights recognized in 1868 with the 14th Amendment. Soon after that, black men gained the right to vote with the 15th Amendment in 1870. That same year, 1870, America had her first black United States Senator, Hiram Revels. More than 4,000 black men were in state, local, and federal political offices. But, yep, then came the backlash. The Ku Klux Klan attacked black voters and discriminatory laws were passed to crush the power of the black vote with poll taxes and literacy tests, which made people take a test and pay taxes before they could register to vote. Some people were killed for trying to vote. Yes, in this country, for some people, gaining the right to vote was like fighting in a war. Even when women finally won the right to vote in 1920 with the 19th Amendment, most black women in the South were left out again. And what about Native Americans? They were not considered citizens until 1924. Laws also tried to limit Latinos and Asian Americans from voting. State laws were so unfair that the country had to change the Constitution with the 24th Amendment that finally ended poll taxes. But the murders and acts of brutality were still happening. Sadly, prosecutors ignored these attacks on citizens who only wanted to vote. Finally, in 1965, after peaceful protesters were attacked on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, President Lyndon Johnson pushed Congress to pass the Voting Rights Act, protecting voters. That did not stop attempts to undermine voting rights. Some states will not allow citizens to vote if they have a felony conviction or they are on parole or on probation. Incarcerated people in America cannot vote at all. A democracy like ours still has a long way to go. Sorry to bring you such bad news. But you should know that for every step forward, like being able to mail in your vote instead of waiting in line, those who want to suppress the vote find new ways to make things even harder. Don't let them win. Fight for your vote by voting, no matter what. 
Let's review. All citizens have the right to vote. But American history is filled with horrible laws and violence to try to stop people of color from voting, which shows how powerful your vote really is and how courageous those Americans who fought for voting rights were and are. If your vote wasn't valuable, there wouldn't be so many efforts to take it. Hang on tight to that vote. Use it to make a difference. Your vote is your voice. This is your democracy. Keep it strong.